My name is Sean Ennis from Ennis Management with an article from Music Business Worldwide. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video. And for all of your promotion and marketing needs, be sure to go to EnnisTalentManagement.com or email EnnisProductions at gmail.com. The United States Senate has passed the Music Modernization Act by unanimous consent. The passing of the bipartisan bill, which was co-sponsored by more than 80 senators, sets into motion an overhaul of the music licensing legislation in the U.S. The comprehensive bill includes the Classics Act legislation that guarantees artists and labels who recorded music before 1972 a federal right to be paid for those recordings when played by digital radio outlets. The Music Modernization Act package contains three key elements. The Music Modernization Act reforms Section 115 of the U.S. Copyright Act to create a single licensing entity that administers the mechanical reproduction rights for all digital uses of musical compositions, like those used in the interactive streaming models offered by Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, Google, and others. It also repeals Section 114 and, consistent with most federal legislation, utilizes random assignment of judges to decide ASCAP and BMI rate-setting cases. The Classics Act would benefit artists and music creators who recorded music before 1972 by establishing royalty payments whenever their music is played on digital radio. Sound Exchange would distribute royalties for pre-72 recordings played by internet, cable, and satellite radio service just as it does for post-72 recordings. Currently, only sound recordings made after 1972 receive payments from digital radio services under federal law. The AMP Act, for the first time, adds producers and engineers who play an indispensable role in the creation of sound recordings to U.S. copyright law. The bill codifies into law the producer's right to collect digital royalties and provides a consistent, permanent process for studio professionals to receive royalties for their contributions to the creation of music. The Senate passed bill now awaits reconsideration by the House and signature by the President.